actually already been mended on the front. This has a reinforced knee and then it's been mended again in front. Um, and we dyed these orange. It's a really cool color, orange. So, um, the problem that I have here is these holes and wear patterns down the side. So you can see here, it's starting to become a little bit threadbare even down here. So I have to take that in consideration when I patch it. Um, and then that extends over here a little bit up. And also there's a little bit starting to wear on the other side. So when I sew a patch over this, I wanna make sure that the patch is gonna to cover to these edges, covering a little bit over each side. If I get too close to that hole, then there's gonna be another hole right here really soon, and I'll just have to fix them again. Um, the style that I'm gonna use is based on Sashko. I am not properly trained in this, and this is my own interpretation of it. I've been a hand sewer my whole life, so I love to sew by hand and I love to embroider. Um, it's, it's so easy and anyone can do it, which I think is really awesome. I'm teaching a style that's baseline on Sashiko, which is a hand quilting of applying a patch to a garment. And I was choosing between a couple patches here for these pants, but I, I really love this one, but it's not gonna cover over far enough, so I'm gonna run into that issue. And then I think this one is gonna be a better fit to cover all the problem areas. This is a patch that was made by Nathan Bell for us in 2017. A bunch of really awesome artist friends of ours made patches for this purpose. And I'm just finally getting to do some of them myself. So um, I'm gonna start with this one and I'll probably speed up the process as I go along, but the materials that I'm gonna use we sell these on our site. Um, I have Sashko needles. What I really like about them is that they are very long. The end is very pointy and um, they're very strong. So for this kind of heavy material or denim that I work with a lot, they're really the best needles to have. Um, they don't compare to any other needle that I have from my American needle collection. These are Japanese made. Um, and then I also use thimble, which I don't have out right now, but I'll have that out later. It goes onto your finger. Um, we also have them on our site. But if you don't wanna buy a needle, try and find an upholstery needle or something that has a very pointy tip and is nice and firm. See, these are really strong. They don't really bend at all. So that's key. You don't, you're gonna be putting a lot of folds of fabric through the needle, so you want it to be strong. And um, yeah, pointy tip. And then the eye is big enough for the thread. It's not too big that it creates a, too big of a hole in the fabric when it passes through. So it's like narrow, but long and skinny. You might have something at home. And if you're just doing this for fun, just use what you have, you know? And if you wanna come by and grab some needles, come by and grab some needles. Next thing I'm gonna use is Sashko thread. I'm gonna choose from a couple different things here, but um, I have a combination of, uh, this one is just a regular Olympus Sashko thread. Um, also, it's made in Japan. A lot of people ask me what the difference between Sashiko thread and normal embroidery floss is because it looks really similar. Um, this is the Sashiko thread. Um, and then I actually have some embroidery flosses here. I can show you the difference. So um, the Sashiko thread is usually a little bit duller and it's slightly more, um, the twist is, is a little bit different. On, on the thread. So actually it's very similar and if this is what you have at home, you can absolutely use it. But I have experienced when I've used um, embroidery floss that sometimes the threads will break. So you might want to shorten the length that you start with and just limit the amount of abrasion that it's gonna go through the fabric. So maybe start with a, you know, normally with the Sashiko yarn, I make them each about 30 inches long. So maybe with this, start with about 20 inches. I think I'm gonna use today 
Um, this one has been persimmon dyed. Um, it's naturally dyed with persimmon tannin. And this is the brick red color, but it looks so good with this orange. So I think I'm gonna use that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get everything threaded up and then I'm gonna start speed showing the process of what I'm gonna do. Um, for this one, I'm gonna work with the patch a little bit and play off the design of the patch for my design. Um, on a traditional sashiko, you would do a repeated pattern. So maybe um, sometimes what I'll do is just quilt back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in lines and try and make them as neat as I can or alternate them. You can also put little X's, different things. Um, I like to sort of freestyle it and do what feels right. And this patch is inspiring me to want to do something like kind of space looking. So. Yeah.